We got notice that it's coming. <laughs> uh, what we would prefer is videos mm -hmm. and uh, and progress reports uh, from people doing, you know, a nice car. Um, not a, a little junky car, but a nice car um, that you would want to drive. I think this is the future, and we're starting to get a lot of these custom rod guys in here. Yeah. Um, they're getting on board pretty good, and you're going to see some stuff that... We can't do here at EVTV. No, they're going to have some super fabricators and some real experience. Yeah, this and, is uh, guys who yeah. know how to build cars yeah. already. They, don't, they need a video to show them how to hook up the batteries. Right. Uh, <laughs> and that's about that's it. That's it. And they're, they've been making cars. Uh, Brian, had, you know, I mean, if you Brian was with uh, several of the car magazines. Custom hot rod? Uh, or? Well, I started with VW Trans. That's kind of why the VW drivetrains don't mm -hmm. mystify me that much. But street rider, uh, mm -hmm. trucking, I launched Sport Compact Car. I've been with uh, quite a few automotive magazines. Kit Car Magazine back in the day. These guys will spend two years. They'll drop, what, 80, 120 grand uh, at on least. a car? Yeah, or more. Drive it around the block six times, sell it, and do the next project. Yep. Yeah, every year or two, come out with a new one. Uh, am I making this up? No. Nope. It, no, that's how it happens. And there's a bunch of them, too. Yeah. They're pretty serious. Yeah. They, they find out about electric vehicles, and it's going to be... We won't be able to get any parts. Right. We won't be able to get any parts. <laughs> build them now. <laughs> uh, build them while you can get them. Uh, so anyway, uh, that pretty much wraps up another Friday show. Um, tell us what you're doing. Um, we're interested, and a lot of our viewers are interested. Um, it's pretty much uh, about going ahead and... Instead of sitting around and, and wishing General Motors would fill your dreams, go out to your garage and just build the car you want and drive the thing. It can be done. Um, and we're seeing more and more people yep. do it. Don't be a victim. Go do it. I'm Jack Rickard with EVTV. Ryan Noto. Trace Jessup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Well, it's um, part of Friday we haven't shown them is that at 4 o'clock on Friday we knock off work and have a <laughs> bottle of vino. This, uh, this uh, week we heard from Mark Eamon, St. Michael's Winery in St. Michael's, Maryland. He uh, is going to do a Porsche 914 and is uh, kind of trading off range for performance. He'd really like huh? 85 miles of range. Yep. So I told totally him he ought to get into AC and regen with the high-performance EV guys. And, um, and he told me, but he is a guy, and he wants to burn them. He, he wants to burn some burn the tires. Net, net gain <laughs> Zilla. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, okay. It, and it really <laughs> is going to. everything's about trade-offs. Anyway, Mark has sent us some wine from his winery. Uh, and actually... We've got a Cabernet here. The nose is a little bit like Brian says, uh, but life boy? A little, little pecan. Little and, uh, I Not think, bad. I think dial uh, <laughs> soap. However, uh, the, the flavor is quite good. Very nice. And a uh, little bit of finish. He does do French oak. That's what we like, guys. And um, I think it's not a bad little cab. I got the idea he didn't really grow it there. He, he kind of makes wine there. He just, Couldn't tell. We were talking about that it's, earlier, but it's that's not okay. Bad. Not bad. If you're in the area, 4 o'clock Fridays, we pretty much knock off, and that's what <laughs> we do. Uh, a lot of people have uh, questioned my BMS um, stance and said, sooner or later, I'm going to be sorry. Trace and I were coming back from the airport in the Porsche, and I started smelling <laughs> off odors. Oh, yes, off odors. something. <laughs> off odors, kind of like burning insulation. Oh, that, yeah. I'm glad I missed that one. Yeah. We pulled into the garage, popped the front hood, and smoke was rolling out from underneath. And I thought, well, maybe they were right. I always think that. <laughs> <laughs> then I go back. All the batteries were burning out. function <laughs> calculator, put the meter on. Seven. No, they're not right at all. <laughs> they're a bunch of boobalas. <laughs> we are typing each other smart. Um, I thought, well, uh, they got me. It's uh, bad news. Coming right out of the battery compartment. Scary. Actually not. <laughs> you remember I told you at least with the cell log 8, yes, you couldn't do any harm. And it wouldn't cost you much money. 
Yes, I do remember you saying that. Well, I was wrong. And what's this wire? That bare <laughs> copper one is not a ground strap. That's, That's the one that had the insulation burn off. Here's the oh, problem, man. guys. You're, you're spending money on equipment to save your batteries. There's some inherent problems that can't be made well with uh, deluxe engineering. Uh, not this ever particularly was. You're bringing the voltages of eight different cells into one little Molex connector, which I would be happy to show you, but it's melted to the cell log 8S, which, by the way, was still operate. Oh, well, robust the, uh, hardware. The problem <laughs> is you're in a car, it vibrates a little bit. Two of the wires, uh, the melted, got a little resistance on them, a little heat, or have you heard this, melted the Molex, shorted the two wires. Now you have two cells that can put out five, 600 amps continuous, maybe 900 <laughs> pulse through the, the little tiny wire. A 28 gauge wire. Yeah, It burnt the insulation off. Um, the only person who has talked sense about this, and I hate to speak well of him, but I will, Lee Hart has in every um, discussion said, you have to put fuses on these. Oh, are you so going to have yeah. problems when you bring eight cells that are this far apart into a connector that's this far apart, yeah. you have the potential to short out two of the cells. Right. What You're trying as hard as you can to save your batteries had we not been there, and this had gotten, I mean, this thing was glowing red when I clipped the end of it, um, you know, we could have burnt down the car in the garage. Yeah, at least. With our BMS that we're attempting to save it. Mm -hmm. um, if you do wire all your cells, you really should do as Lee Hart has insisted consistently for several years, fuse them at the cells, not back here. And uh, you just have to do that. The, just the wiring, forget what type of BMS you're using. It doesn't matter. The wiring can destroy your car. You're, you're, you're wiring all your cells together into one right massive into one. short yeah. right here. The, it's, the BMSs are uh, Kool-Aid. Uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of people trying to make money for them. Everybody wants to protect that investment in batteries. I do too, mm -hmm. guys, but I'm not going to, you know, we live BMS free one day at a time. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh, just like Tim Cavalier. And uh, so it's, um, this is not a good idea. It never was a good idea. You talked me into this. I know better than this. Um, but it was cheap. What harm could it do? Well, <laughs> Billowing clouds of smoke, that's what it can do. And potentially a fire. fire. Yeah. To do something that doesn't need to be done. We've had this car for a year and a half. I, I'm still reading about cell imbalance. They, they become unbalanced. Well, we LiPo have... 4 cells are inherently yeah. self-balancing. They're not very good at it. It's a very mild thing. Yeah, but, but they over but time, they will do it over time. Ours have gotten closer and closer and closer together. I'm not sure I understand why, but there is no evidence, and no one has even presented a cogent theory that was not nonsense. Why they would diverge? Yeah, why are they going to go in opposite directions? Right? Why, why couldn't they get why, better? Yeah, why? <laughs> why <laughs> were they always going to get worse? Why do you think yeah. it's bad news? <laughs> Uh, and um, uh, this is is a you know well intended uh, uh, thing to uh, handle that. I wanted to watch, mm -hmm. and a nice concept. I, I don't need to watch. Nope. <laughs> I need to watch how many amp hours it take out of the battery. I need to ha watch how many amp hours I, I put, put in. Put in. And I need to not overcharge it. And I need to not run out of gas. Right. That's what I need. Uh, this is entertainment. And it's dangerous entertainment. It'll burn down your burn your car to the ground. That's my position on it still. And and we yep. just about did uh, with a BMS.
Not much of a bee mess, but but this is a lesson why that's not a good idea. Yeah. Man. And if you're going to do it, you have to put a little two amp fuse on every single one of them. Man. Measuring voltages is 10 milliamps. You do not need any current. No. To measure voltage. Not to measure voltage. And uh, uh, if it's drawing anything, a, a, a half amp fuse would be overkill. You should, yeah, not, think, you should yeah. not blow it. Yeah. And uh, Lee Hart was quite correct in that and has repeatedly stated it. Um, no one really listens. They're all building BMSs, none of them have fuses. 